Overpower the armed guards above, slip over the side, and make for the shore. Quit your mumbling, captive! Okay, so here we are in the game. Now we can actually do some real gameplay. You got this mouse cursor, just like Blast this. Ye scurvy dog! And to talk to someone, look at them, so you this can look at him. The day. You can push him or interact with him in some sort of way, or you can talk to him. So, we're going to first look at him. I don't think I've ever seen a cuter pirate. Avast, you swabs! Prepare for your doom! How about we push him? If I rough him up, he may shoot me. Aww. <laughs> okay. And now we'll talk to him. Stay away! And for each time you're going to be talking to somebody, it pops up with a bunch of different choices. Each choice kind of propels the story to some extent, or at least the conversation, in a certain way. So, even though you're watching it with me, someone else may do it completely different than I do it. So, it'd be interesting to see how things go. So, um, let's introduce ourselves. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Who are you? I'm the evil pirate Bloodnose, the wickedest fiend ever to sail under the banner of King Death. I'd as soon chew your nose off as look at you. Uh, Are you wearing a fake beard? Blood knows the pirate would not have a fake beard. Yes, it is. It's been glued to your ear hair. Actually, it's a highly sophisticated beard weave made from the chest and back hair of real pirates. I'm hoping it'll take root if I don't wash it for a while. Hey, wait a minute. You're not a pirate. Wally! Don't you recognize me? It's Guybrush Threepwood. Oh, gee. Hello, Mr. Wood. The last time I saw you, we were prisoners at LeChuck's dungeon. Why would you sign on with the Ship of the Living Dead? Well, Mr. Brush, at first I had some misgivings about it. But thanks to LeChuck's seminars, motivational lectures, and audio books on Parrot, I've become a vicious Corsair. You can too. Ask me how. Okay, we're going to ask him in a second, but I do want to say that he comes from the second video game. And uh, he's a map maker. He puts maps together and draws all these cutesy, artsy, fartsy stuff, as he says in the corners of them and puts them together and stuff like that. So he's a map maker that helps Guybrush find uh, Big Whoop. And the last time, of course, as, he, as Guybrush mentioned that they saw each other, they were both prisoners in LeChuck's dungeon. And together they escape LeChuck's dungeon and I don't want to spoil too, too much of it, but I mean, you can kind of tell that they've escaped LeChuck's dungeon, so... Um, yeah. Anyways, we're gonna ask him about all this information he has about becoming a pirate. An evil pirate. Tell me about these seminars. The seminars really brought things into focus. You don't know how empowering it is to be able to say to yourself, Yes, I am a despicable, filthy, villainous pirate, deserving blame and censure. But that pirate is who I want to be. Everyone was really very supportive. We had this great feeling of synergy. Then LeChuck kicked down the door and said, You lazy scum, get back to work or I'll beat you with your own legs. Tell me about these motivational lectures. Well, they weren't lectures as such. It was what LeChuck described as flogging the inner child. Tell me about these audiobooks. To become a pirate, the audio books on Parrot are the key. You get a set of 12 Parrots, one a month. Return as many as you like, keep them all and live. They teach you to talk just like a pirate. All the key phrases are in there. Blow the man down. Shiver me timbers. Who's a pretty bird? 
all the phrases a pirate needs to command respect on the high seas. Tell me more. Here. This leaflet explains the basic philosophy I follow. Interesting. Well, since they're friends, why don't we ask them to set us free? Set me free, Wally. I can't, Mr. Brush. I'm the evil pirate Bloodnose now. And besides, even if you got up on deck, the chuck would cut you to ribbons. What's behind that door? Ooh! That's the door to LeChuck's treasure hold. There's heaps and piles of gold and silver. He's brought all the loot he's ever stolen to give to Elaine. LeChuck is convinced that he can buy Elaine's love. Mm. Yeah, I don't think so. What are LeChuck's plans? He's been working on a secret weapon. Some incredibly powerful cannonball. He's going to use it to blow down the walls of the fort so his crew can overrun the island. Snap out of it, Wally. That's blood nose to you, you scurvy sea bass. You're a failure as a pirate. Shut your trap, you yellow-bellied blowfish. One more peep out of you, and I'll do you in. Try it, shrimpy. Yes. Gabra swab. One more word and I'll let you have it. Word. That's it. I'm gonna blast you. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... <laughs> I can't do it. I just can't. <laughs> You're right, Mr. Wood. I'm just not a pirate. I'm not ferocious or bloodthirsty or hateful or anything. I'm not even... I'm not even unpleasant. Oh! There! Well, there, there. Poor Wally. Okay, so now we can pick up this hook. There! And this thing over here. And like every adventure game, he has an endless, endless pocket. Now if the cursor is white, that means that you can't do anything other than walk there. So, I think, oh, we can't even walk there. Oh, we can. If it's red, that means you can interact with the things in some way. First we want to stick our head over here. Though. I can't quite squeeze past this can. Oh, wait, maybe not. We have to put these together first. Okay, so to go into your inventory, you right mouse click, and then you can go into your inventory, and you can see we have helium balloons, the pirate literature, and the gap. We have to use the cannon. That's right. And my favorite part. Okay, so now we have to shoot all these pirate ships. It's kind of hard. <laughs> Waste of my mouse. Oops. That was me. Sorry. There we go. Finally. There we go. Hey, I'm getting pretty good at this. Ooh, gross. All the bones and stuff are floating towards the ship. <laughs> okay, sorry that this sort of went pretty short, but I think we're going to call it a day today, and so make sure you tune in tomorrow, and we will continue and find out more about what's out here right now. Okay, see you then. Bye-bye.